go through the temple because of physical disabilities be able to get through the temple and seeing the first wheelchair in the temple for me was so important. I know it pleased the Lord that they were able to have those holy ordinances where before it was not possible for them to participate. But years later I asked my grandfather as I was writing his personal history how he really felt when those beautiful things came out of the temple and with tear-filled eyes he said it was hard but we needed to learn a lesson. And I said, Grandpa, I, I don't understand what the lesson was. He said, some of us were confused that the temple is about velvet and about marble and about beautiful paintings. And it's not. It's about holy ordinances. And those ordinances could be performed in a tent in the wilderness as they were with Moses or in a home that was worthy of those ordinances. And I think some of us needed to learn that lesson. I was one of them. Well, I think the temple in Cache Valley is, uh, is a very significant historic symbol uh, for the whole Mormon experience in the Rocky Mountain West. And that is, it is a gathering place. It also, I think, symbolizes the great sacrifice that people were willing to go to, to show permanence, to show commitment, to show that they were, uh, they were here to stay, and that uh, the things that they had left behind in the Midwest could be recreated, and that now that it was gonna be their world, they were gonna control this world, and they would never leave. Well, it was the same purpose that drove them to build the Kirtland Temple, the Nauvoo Temple, and to start the Salt Lake Temple. That is that they're sacred ordinances that uh, our Heavenly Father's children must receive the, their endowments, their sealings, and those were to be performed in the house of the, house of the Lord, a place to come and, and to renew those covenants and renew their relationship with their Heavenly Father. And so uh, a temple was a very precious and important thing. In fact, in the early beginnings of the church, they built temples before they ever thought about building a ward house. In the temples, we enter into covenants that prepare us to go back into the presence of our Father in heaven and to dwell with him and, and the Lord Jesus Christ if we are willing to keep the covenants and do what they ask us to do, behave the way they want us to, to live. And that endowment and the ceilings of the holy priesthood in the house of the Lord are very, very precious. The Logan Temple is the same as every other temple. It stands for a house of the Lord. And if you're in Cache Valley and live in Cache Valley, the Logan Temple is a, is a beacon on the hill. I've always, since my childhood, looked at the Logan Temple like a fortress, like a castle that a king might live in. I'm sure that was intentional. It is built to look like a castle where kings and queens could dwell. It's built like a fortress because it needs to last. The principles that take place within it are eternal ones and it needs to remain till the end of time. And that building is built for that purpose, to be there till the end. <laughs>